Hi guys, welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to continue with the signup business. Last time, we learned how to create a new user, save it into the Firebase authentication. But how can we use them, like if we want to get information of some users to display it on the view? That's why we need database where we carefully and cleverly store our data, so that we can quickly update and retrieve information. Let's start declaring a dictionary to hold all user data we've created, so that we can use it to save to a specified reference on the database. No matter how it's formatted on the client, all data stored in Firebase is JSON. Later on, we'll see how the data is stored on the database. Okay, to read and write the data on the Firebase, we first need to import Firebase Framework. We want to push newly created users to the Firebase database. We're going to need this constant to reference to the, data to the database location, or the root reference. As Firebase Database follows this tree structure, our idea is to represent all users as a big node and make, sure, make each user a child node. We need to make sure each user address must be uniquely identified. It's going to be the user ID under the user's node. We store the user information at this node using update child values method. The user information should be the dict variable we created. All right. We'll log a string to the console once we finished. All right, we'll create a new user with email that is test2 at gmail.com. Let's see in the database. Under the root path, we have a child node called users. All users data will be stored under the users node. Okay, we are going to handle profile image upload later and status. Let's give it a default string each time a user is created. Fantastic. All right, see you next time.